Hi guys, Ryan Saranich here. Today I'm in Palanga, Lithuania at the concert hall, and we're going to check out a few different boxes of marker reeds. It's been really fun over the past few days putting a good bit of hours into checking out marker reeds. These are actually ones that I've not really had a lot of experience with before. It was really fun to explore the nuances of each of the different boxes of these reeds and what they offered for actually some different types of players. For those of you who aren't aware, Marka makes their reeds from premium cane from France. They've actually designed, developed, and manufactured these reeds in France since 1957. That's a long time and a lot of history with reeds. The reeds that we're going to talk about today are available for all saxophones, so if you hear something or see something that you like, take some time and check them out. We'll start off here with the American Vintage. The American Vintage is an unfiled design kind of geared towards jazz players, especially those who are more or less playing, uh, you know, traditional jazz bebop, etc, etc. In my own testing, I found that these had a very robust and fat low end, but I was missing a few things from the high end. On the high end, it had a very soft and kind of melodious quality to it. Obviously, people who are playing styles like bebop, this may be a more ideal and suitable read for you. Out of a box of five of these, I found that two were immediately really playable, Two of them needed a little bit of work, you know, maybe some sanding or something, and there was one, unfortunately, that was unplayable. For cane saxophone reeds, though, I find this to be acceptable. As most of you know, it's quite often very hard to get five perfect reeds out of a box. Just to give you some reference about the next two boxes that we're going to talk about, don't forget that the American Vintage is an unfiled reed. Although I didn't have as much luck with the American Vintage, I happen to know someone who has great luck with the American Vintage and sounds awesome on them. Maybe that particular reed is better on his setup, and obviously he's played them for a lot longer than I have, so he really understands the nuances of what those reeds are about. So I asked him to make a video. Here's my friend Arno Haas from Germany. Hey there, my name is Arno Haas. I'm a German saxophone player, and I use Marka reeds. Uh, the American Vintage two and a half on my tenor saxophone. I open it. Comes the description of the reeds. Five reeds in here, and I put it in a glass of water. One, two. Here we go. So, I'll play a P. Moria saxophone with a Jody Jazz giant mouthpiece and a Florian Popper ligature. And now let's see how they play. Number one. Mm-hmm. 
that's the reason for me to play this marker reads. It's a box with five reads, out of these five reads right away four I can play. It's fantastic resonance, fantastic uh, brightness, what I need and what I want and it takes enough power, it's, everything is cool. Just one piece I have to work a little bit on it. But this is how it is. I open a box and I can play four or maybe all the five reads out of, of a box. So check out Marka Reads. He has different styles, different types. I'm happy with the American Vintage. Thank you. Up next we check out the Marka Jazz Filed Reads. When I was looking online I saw that these reads were marketed towards jazz, pop and R&B players. But I have to say that after playtesting the box of the five reeds, I found them to be a lot closer to the American Vintage reeds than I did the Jazz Unfiled. These were very dark for me. Uh, the articulation was a lot more like the American Vintage, which was a lot softer, and a lot less like the Jazz Unfiled, which was very articulated. With these, I got a very warm sound and certainly a very, very dark upper register and what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, like the palm keys all the way into the altissimo register. These for me were actually darker in that space than the American Vintage were. Unfortunately, out of this box, I got three reeds that immediately needed work and two that were unplayable for me.
we're going to check out the Jazz Unfiled Reads. The high register should respond with ease, and you should see a little bit easier articulation with these. In my own testing, I actually found these to be the ones that I liked the most that suited me a little bit best. I'm not surprised when I looked it up and I saw that these were marketed primarily for jazz, uh, pop, and R&B players, which is more or less a lot of the things that I get into. On my own gig at home, I play a lot of fusion, which obviously you have to cut through the mix a little bit. And on the tour that I play on, I play on a rock tour, and I also have to cut through the mix a little bit. So these were a little bit more ideal for me. I kind of found the top end that I was missing in the American Vintage. If I were really going to categorize these reeds from my own playtesting, I would probably call them uh, very meaty sounding, uh, robust, and very even from top to bottom. I lost a little bit of the high end on my sound that I would normally get with the reeds that I typically use with these, but uh, like I said previously, I got a lot more high end out of these than I did out of the American Vintage reeds. I did notice that these reeds were a little bit husky, which I really like. That's a quality for me that kind of lets me cut through the mix just a little bit. This is kind of that slightly airy, slightly mid-scooped sound that a lot of players that are doing the whole pop R&B thing are using. It's very articulated and it's very defined note to note. Unlike the American Vintage, which was, like I said before, was a little bit melodious and it was very soft. Uh, note to note, so I didn't quite notice the articulation in the American Vintage as much as I did in the Jazz Unfiled. In this box, I had three reeds that came out immediately playable and sounded really great. The remaining two reeds were workable, and I'm sure that they'll sound great with, uh, you know, just a little bit of sanding. Overall, I thought that these were really good reads. If you want my opinion about this, if you're more in the bebop vein, in the modern jazz vein, you probably should check out the American Vintage as it's going to be a much warmer, much fuller sound. If you are a saxophonist who needs to cut through a little bit of a more electric mix, you probably should check out the Jazz Unfiled as those are going to be two very, very different reads for two very different players. One thing that I will immediately recommend though is that you take the reeds out of this cardboard reed holder and put them into a much better reed case. I don't know if you can see the damage here, but I did this, putting this reed back into this particular cardboard reed case instead of putting it into something else. Unfortunately, this happened with a lot of the reeds that I got out of these three boxes. It's just maybe not the best way to store these reeds over time. I just want to say a special thank you to Aaron and Tim Elvey, who own Elvey Sound Solutions in Canada, and they sent these reeds down for me on behalf of Marka. Elvey Sound Solutions services Canada's retail music stores with woodwind products, and if you go to a place like Long & McQuaid or Cosmo Music, which is in the Toronto area, you can find all the Marka products. Want more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications. Also, check out the article for Legere Reads on saxphonecentral.com.